Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to another Warzone video. In today's video, we drop an absolute banger. A solo duo 30 bomb pace insane game using the gun that is statistically better than the Amax. Now, this is actually prior to the Amax nerf. Some of the data that I'm about to show you, some of the time to kill charts that you saw on the thumbnail. This gun is better than the Amax pre-nerf. So we know we've got some additional studies that we need to do, some additional stats we need to take. But right now, this gun is is insane and it is outperforming the amax and some of you know what it is but before we get in on to that i want to thank today's sponsor which is z league you guys see me competing all the time on tournaments over on twitch you are interested in trying out a competitive tournament for yourself check out z league now i've got the link in the pinned comment and the description for z league.gg slash iceman isaac and i've asked the community in the past and i'm seeing all the results all the time you guys love it. You're telling me on Twitch about the money you're earning. You can compete for free. And the nice thing about it, you don't need to be a demon. They have their own engineer create a software where you are going against players of similar skill level. So you're not going against complete sweats. You're going against people with similar KD, similar score per minute, and they've weeded out all the hackers within their own algorithm. So if you want a chance to compete competitively on your own in Warzone, just get your own little taste, even start for free and earn cash. Check out zleague.gg slash IcemanIsaac. That'll be in the pinned comment and the description. Come let me know over on Twitch. Let me know down in the comments how you're enjoying Z League. But I've heard nothing but good things about the community. And I really want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. Now, without further ado, if you know me, you know I'm an OG in this channel. If you've been around since Warzone Academy Season 1, my number one loadout that I recommended was the Ram 7 HDR. And the Ram 7 is back. Now... I know some of you are skeptical. You think the Ram 7 is a little tough to control, and I'm going to talk about some things that you can do to make it easier to control. But first off, I want to tell you this is no clickbait, no BS. The Ram 7 is statistically better than the Amax in more ways than you may think. So when we get into it, these are the comparison charts provided by True Game Data. True Game Data puts in a lot, a lot of effort. Make sure to drop him a follow over on Twitter and check out his site. He's got a YouTube as well that's, that's, that's actually growing very, very quickly. Um, so this is for three, a fully plated enemy. When you shoot them at the chest, the Ram 7 in purple isn't as good as the Amax. It's like, eh, it's pretty lackluster. Shooting in the chest, the Amax kind of wins, uh, actually wins pretty significantly right in here. But I only used to look at this, and I used to disregard the Ram because I'm like, eh, the Ram doesn't do anything. Keep in mind, this is pre-nerf. It says it right there, pre-nerf. So he still has to put in more damage or more stats because keep in mind the Amax was nerfed. They said about 17% at range. The Amax is not as viable at range. What I really want you to take a look at is the viability of the Ram when all of a sudden we start hitting headshots. Boom. Ram is superior, and then keep in mind the Amax is going to get nerfed at range. But even better, now we're taking shots on the stomach. The Ram is better by leaps and bounds. And then once the Amex gets nerfed, re reflected properly, the, the Ram may be better in every single range. And then throw on top of it the extremities. Once again, the exact same scenario. The Ram is significantly better than the Amex. And then at range, when the Amex gets nerfed, the Ram may be better. So statistically, the Ram 7 is significantly better in all areas except for chest shots. But let's be honest, we're not all consistently hitting chest shots. So when you're hitting the extremities, when you're hitting the stomach, and when you're hitting the head, the Ram 7 is superior, and the stats back it up. Now, I'm really curious to see once True Game Data gets that gets those numbers done and show what the Ram 7 can do, um, or how it stacks up against the Amex after the pre-nerf. I'm going to bring you that information in the future. But I want to show you when I drop a solo duo near 30 bomb playing with this in a pretty sweaty lobby, some really clutch moments, the Ram 7 slaps. This is the way I've got it kitted out. I've got the monolithic suppressor, the FSS Ranger, the Commando Foregrip, the 50 round mag, and the VLK Optic. In the past, I've ran the, the Ram as a sniper support, but I don't think it has, one, the time to kill, and two, more importantly, the mobility to be a good, like, iron sight sniper support like it used to. I feel like the FFAR, the XM4, that's some stuff we'll be talking about in the future, has filled that sniper support role. But in terms of a long-range AR, the ram 7 has filled that role and i believe it's going to be one of the top three meta weapons for the ar the amax is still insane the ram 7 and then maybe something else to slip in there like maybe the krig but ladies and gentlemen you need to try out the ram if you are struggling with recoil one mounting on the ram is insane if you mount with the ram it, it just doesn't move whatsoever and then two it you you're like first 20 bullets out of a ram go up in a straight line and then after that they kind of curve up and to the left 
So if you're having trouble controlling recoil at range, first 20 bullets let off for just a hair just for a second it'll reset it and it'll all be up in a straight line again so it's a great tip that i use when shooting enemies at range to reset just pull off just for a second and then your vertical recoil it'll just be straight up and down for your entire recoil pattern but ladies and gentlemen the gameplay is insane one of the coolest clutches i've ever had some of the best gameplay solo duo i'm vibing with chat it's an absolute blast but i do want to give one, one more shout out to zleague.gg for uh sponsoring today's video huge supporter of the channel provide a lot of amazing opportunities for me including some special things we've got planned here in the future that i can't tell you about quite yet um, but I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to enjoy me checking out the rest of the meta guns, make sure to subscribe here. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you're excited about the RAM meta, especially my OG Warzone Academy fans. And once again, we talked about all the meta guns. We're going to be going over all of them this week. We've got multiple videos planned, uh, and we'll be testing out the rest of the meta guns over on Twitch. But without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Time, scrub the contract. Be advised, UAV are TP for resupply. Um, enemy UAV overhead. That was calculated. I definitely. Wasn't afraid that I was going to break my legs there or anything. Yo, Chad, do you guys know you could jump off that like that? I didn't know you could jump off that like that. I definitely thought I was going to die there. <laughs> I thought I was dead for sure. <laughs> that guy's probably terrified. I just hit the nastiest B-hop ever, like flying at him like a maniac. That was sick. <laughs> Requesting recon. No way. I cannot believe they just let me out of there alive. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. All right, slow start. Very slow start, but we got a heli in our hands. No! Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. Our Enemy UAV overhead. I know. Yo, stop, chill. I'm coming right for you. I'm not even gonna loot. I'll take the stick. Where you at? What the heck? Later, Stewie. Objective is to eliminate the bounty target. I'll 
I'll take the stick. Bounty target is down. Well done. Had to be done, chat. Had to be done. Oh my gosh, found him. <gasps> oh my goodness, bro. Yet. Okay, guys, so this is getting a little ridiculous. Pull to the left, Isaac! Pull to the left! Jeez! Okay, hey, 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 hey! Chill! Y'all can shoot each other, you know. I need recon on my position. UAV entering the AO. Okay. Relocating. Hang on, let me borrow this. Be advised, UAV is being mobile. RTB for resupply. Whoa. I'm blaming the site, Chad. I hate the site. Oh. That thing with that ram, man, it, it takes a little bit of muscle memory. It's it's not as hard and, and it's it's back and forth on controllers. Sometimes the aim assist will stick and the ram is a, is is insane. Other times, like you really gotta pull it. And there, I was just like, I was kind of, I, I just didn't pull it soon enough because I was getting the exact pull that I needed and I was adjusting for it perfectly, but I was off center, and so I was just perfectly controlling the recoil off center. I kind of screwed up there. UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Be advised, there's an enemy team hunting you. Safe zone. Ram HDR throwback. See, I was using the Ram as a close range with the Ram HDR days, and the Ram slaps at long range, and it still does insane damage medium range. And, and I, I love using it. Like if my MP5 runs out of ammo, it's a little tough to track with the VLK on, but like the Ram still is exceptional at close range. But I think I would rather have an FFAR in my hand for that faster mobility. Um. If I'm if I'm running it close range, like I I think the FFAR has taken the Rams role as a, a sniper support. You're safe. You lost the enemy trackers. Like I said. The RAM medium range still does work. 
I need recon on my position. UAV entering the AO. Oh, Isaac. Wow, you almost threw that. Holy cow, I'm blind. Hang on, I gotta turn on my red, turn on my red boxes. RTB for resupply. We got recon online. UAV entering the AO. UAV is RTB for resupply. Team right there. I'm gonna act like I don't see him. Well, I was going to, but can't act like I don't see him when you're shooting at me. Later, Ricardo. I need recon on my position. UAV entering the AO. So I was trying to like position my truck to make it look like I couldn't make that turn, but then I just slammed on my brakes. We got recon. And uh, that was a wrap. UAV I slammed on my brakes the and then AO. kept the turn incoming, where he thought he could like outmaneuver me. And so he felt like he had a, an escape option. Slam on the brakes, tighten your turn radius. Oh my goodness. You got me. No, it's not another one. It's still the same guy. Right, Otro? Other? Yo, hablo espanol. Final deployment is loading up. I'll Finish try. the fight. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. It's like a perfect little show-off game for the Ram. I really want to clutch this. I've had the close range, I had the long range, I had the medium range. Recon online. I'll drive. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. Mm, I wish I saw that dead silence. There's so many people unghosted. I'm actually going to keep this on me. Alright, so they're still sending that cubby. What about you? Oh, you're rapping. Mark the target.
Hostile fire. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. I didn't know how close that other guy was, so I child with the MP5. Target right here. What? Just closing in. That was such an awesome game. Little little solo duo. 30 bot 29 bomb. Come on now. Hey, let's go below me. Thank you for the 25, bro. Woo! That was a close one. There were a couple of gunfights in there that had me shaking. Let's go, man. Let's go. One off the 30? I don't even care. I don't even care. That was a fantastic game. That was a fantastic game. I, I had a blast with that one.